Gravity by Miss Egan, second class. Gravity. Gravity is the force that pulls everyone and everything towards the ground. If there was no gravity, we would float off into space. Two famous scientists that taught us a lot about gravity are Newton and Galileo. They lived a long, long time ago. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Newton saw an apple fall from a tree and thought to himself, Hmm, the apple was still and then it started to move. So the apple's motion changed. But what force caused the motion to change? Hmm. Ding! Maybe it's gravity. Every object in the world has gravity. The bigger the object, the bigger the force. The planet Earth is so big and heavy that its force of gravity is huge. Some people think the moon has no gravity, but this is not true. You see, really, the moon is only about the same size as Australia. This means the Earth is much heavier than the moon. And because of this, there is far more gravity on Earth than there is on the Moon. When you drop two different sized objects from the same height, which will reach the ground first? This big cube or this much smaller cube? The answer is the exact same time. Did you get it right? To investigate this, we dropped various objects from the same height at the same time. We recorded this in slow motion. As you can see, both objects reached the ground at almost the exact same time. One object was much heavier than the other, but they both reached the ground at the almost the exact same time. We did not expect this. We thought the heavier object would reach the ground much quicker. Some people believe that over 400 years ago, Galileo investigated this in Italy. It is said that he dropped different sized balls from the Leaning Tower of Pisa. But like in our experiment, all of the objects reached the ground at the same time, even though they were different weights and sizes. But then we noticed something strange. We dropped an A4 sheet of paper in two different ways. One piece was completely flat. The other piece was scrunched up into a ball. And look what happened. The piece of paper that was scrunched up reached the ground first. Well, a flat piece of paper looked like it was floating. This made us realize that there is another force. It is called air resistance. Air resistance pushes against objects that are moving. So when the flat piece of paper fell, it floated on the air more than the scrunched up piece of paper. Then when we looked into it, we found out about a really interesting experiment. This experiment involved a feather and a hammer. It was carried out during the first moon landing in 1969. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. If you drop a hammer and a feather at the same time, which do you think would reach the ground first? Well, actually, there are two answers to that question. Well, on the moon, the hammer and the feather reach the ground at the same time. Do you know why? That's right, there is no air resistance on the moon. In other words, there is no force pushing against gravity. 
You see, on Earth, it is a different story. Because of air resistance, the feather may not fall as fast.